auto page numbering inside of Canva. For a long time, this is something Canva did not support, but finally it does. You can add automatic page numbers that update when you delete pages, when you add pages. So where do you find this feature? How do you use it? Let's get into it. If you are someone who sometimes creates longer form content in Canva, then you've probably been aware of the fact and frustrated with the fact that Canva did not have an ability to auto number pages in a longer form Canva document like this. So what you'd have to do is carefully plan out your pages ahead of time so you didn't change page numbers if you wanted to have page numbers or otherwise when you, you made a late change, then you'd have to go back and change page numbers on all your pages or a lot of your pages and it really was frustrating. Well, gone are those days because now they have a fix. So let's talk about it. So on screen here, I have a 20 page document. So this is a recipe book. So if we just jump in here real quick, we can see that we have these different pages in the document. And if I go through the pages, then we'll see eventually I do have page numbers here. So four, five, six, seven. And the problem in the past is, let's say I have this recipe on page seven and suddenly I want to take this page and maybe I want to take this page and maybe I want to move it to be later in the book. Well, suddenly now my page numbers are out of order because I have page nine and now I have page seven. And the same thing would happen if you deleted a page. Then suddenly you get rid of page nine. So what was page 10 should be page nine, but that page number is not going to automatically update. So if you decide you want to reorder pages, which is a normal thing you might want to do, or if you decide you want to get rid of a page or add a page, then that was a problem. So what you had to do in the past was you had to carefully make those decisions ahead of time, make sure everything was laid out exactly how you want it, and then add those page numbers at the last second. And you had to go through and you had to add a page number on every page. So there was just some extra work that as a Canva user, you felt like there should be an easier way. Well, the good thing is now there's an easier way. So let's see how this works. Okay, so here I am inside of a blank magazine template in Canva, but this feature is gonna work regardless of what sort of template you launch, regardless of the dimensions of your page, this still is gonna work. So we can imagine you might be working on a document and as you work on it, you're gonna add more and more pages and maybe you want page numbering to be a feature uh, of your document. And of course, if you end up with something like 100 pages, then that is definitely not something you're going to want to have to go through and make changes to all your page numbers if you happen to add, subtract something. So this is where this uh, auto page numbering feature is really going to work out and really save you a ton of time. Now, in the past, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to add a text box to this page, uh, put on the page number. And of course, you'd have to do that for every additional page that you wanted to have a page numbering on. Now you have a tool that's going to do this for you. So let me show you how this works. If I come in here now on this first page and I go under the text uh, menu here, now we'll see we have this new dynamic text option page numbers. So if I click on this, then suddenly we see that we have this new menu that appears up on the left and it automatically puts a little page number here at the bottom. When you first apply it, it's going to start with the page number one, but we'll see how this dynamically can tell what page you're on and apply numbering to those pages. So the menu here has format, so we have numbers only, but you can also do page plus number. So if we see, if we do that, it has page one. And if we go under there again, and we see page X of Y, then it's gonna show one of four. So you can see automatically already, it's picking up that we have one, two, three, four pages in this document. If I click another one and we go back, see now it says one of five. So this is a smart tool that's gonna understand how many pages you're on, you have in your document, what page you happen to be on, and this is where the magic of this tool is gonna to come into play. So let's go back under here again by just clicking on it. If we wanna get back to that menu, all we have to do is click back on the text once we've applied that tool for the first time, then we can see that now uh, we have this here. So format here shown on number of pages. So here you can come in and you can decide, hey, I don't wanna actually show this on page one. So I can come in here and turn off page one. And now I'm gonna apply it on two, three, four, five. So if I click done now and I go over and I can see that here, page two, page three, page four, page five, they all have those page, page numbering. Uh, but this uh, but this first page does not. Now we'll notice on page five here, it actually has a different format. Uh, as you make changes, sometimes uh, things will fall out of sync. But if I go back here now and I click on any of my page numbers on any of my pages, so any of the pages, I can click on that now. 
And if I choose this apply properties to all pages, appearance and position, then it's going to go ahead and make sure everything is updated. So now we see this one has the same format. So in other words, here I could come on this page and if I change this to uh, just showing the page number only, then it's going to appear on that page and it's going to appear on the other pages. But if you ever find that for some reason it's out of sync, one of the pages didn't get those changes, just make sure you hit this apply property to all pages and then it's going to apply across all pages. Again, up here, if we want to turn them all on. We want to show on page one now too. We'll go ahead and click that now. Now we see on page one, it also shows. And then again on page one, let's say we come in here and we start fooling with some of the uh, settings for this text here. So you can still do all the normal text increases like you want. So let's make it bigger. Let's make it bold. Uh, let's change where it's positioned on the page. Maybe I want it in this left corner instead of the right corner. Uh, you could even come in here and put an effect on it and say, okay, maybe let's give this a background color. Uh, let's change it around this down so it's just like a square like that. So we have a square behind it and we could go ahead then. Uh, and as we come out of this effects menu, make sure we're back on this menu here. In other words, click on the text itself. See this dynamic page numbering. Let's bring that menu back up and again, apply properties between all pages. And that'll make sure that on each page, yes, all that formatting we apply to that first page is now on all the pages. So this is really cool. And of course, the real power is now if I go ahead and add more pages, then suddenly dynamically the page numbers are just going to show up on those pages as I add them. Same thing if I come in here and let's say I decide I want to get rid of uh, page six, I'm going to delete page six. Then this page, which was page seven, is now page six. And so automatically, dynamically, it's going to update those numbers. So this is going to be really, really helpful. Okay, let's leave that blank page example for a minute. Let's come back to this example of this recipe book. And let's talk briefly about what if you have something that's already set up uh, and you had to use the old method, but now you want to come back and you want to update that document, maybe add pages, maybe get rid of pages, and you want to convert that to this dynamic auto numbering. Uh, so if you've ever seen me build out a document like this, and I can link my uh, sort of tutorial on how to create a recipe book template like this, uh, but when you've seen me do this process, what I do is I tend to build out templates for content that falls in an area sort of projects that I might do again and again. So if I'm somebody that's like, okay, I'm a food blogger, I know that I'm gonna create more than one recipe book, then I might set up a template that's reusable to save work in the future. So one such template would maybe be something like this where I have a couple of different pages. And basically when I'm setting up a template like this, I'm thinking about what are the different styles of pages I'm gonna need within this document. So I might need a cover page. So maybe I have a couple different formats of a potential cover page. Maybe have I have a couple different formats for sort of an index page, then actual recipe pages themselves, and then maybe some additional pages. So again, pages like this where I can then come in. And so here are my actual recipe pages. So I'm just going to hit uh, one and then I'm going to control click to select the other one. I'm going to hit control C to copy them. And then if I hit control V, then control V, suddenly I'm pa pasting in what could be additional recipes in the book. Now, of course, if I did something like this, I would then of course go to those pages and I would take an image and I would drag and drop it in here and I would update the content. But this is sort of the, the formatting approach that I take when I set something up. Sort of laying out the pages in the different styles that I'm gonna need. And then as I create new content, I can sort of duplicate these template pages and create more content in the categories that I need. So hopefully that makes sense. But now if you're gonna do something like this and you think you're gonna have page numbering, I would build in this auto page numbering in this templating process so it gets saved as part of your template. So let me just hit Control uh, Z. Actually, let me just delete these extra pages I did because I don't need these extra pages here uh, when I first set up my sort of recipe book template, like in other words, my templating system. I only need one page for each unique layout because if I have a second page that's gonna use that layout, of course I can just copy it, then I'm filling in the content. Hopefully that makes sense. But I could come in here now and on any of these pages, I could now just go under the text option here and use this page numbering. And it's gonna drop in a page number there. And so maybe I want it to also uh, show the uh, name so I could change it to page plus number like that. I could position it, position it exactly where I want it, apply to all pages. Maybe I'm not going to want it on the first two pages because I'm going to have an index page and a title page. So let's turn it off on the first two pages 
Uh, so actually, let me just do all pages again, and I want to turn it off on page one, page two, go ahead and hit done. Make sure I apply to all pages. You can also remove it from all pages if you want, uh, but obviously when you're setting it up, you want to apply to all pages. And then if I looked at my pages, nothing on page one, nothing on page two, but then three, four, uh, five, they all have this page numbering. Six has this page numbering. Of course, I can see the positioning doesn't make sense because it's going to be over top of that image. It's going to be here. It's not good. So let's go in here and change sort of the layout of this. So on this page here, maybe let's just bump this over to something like there. I think we have that on this one here. So we'll bump that over to some, something like there. And again, I could be more consistent if I wanted this to be on the same position on each page. I could just delete this real quick. Let's come to the other page here. Let's just hit Control C to copy it. Then when I hit Control on this page, it's gonna paste it in the same positioning. Then I could take my number, let's put that over here to the left, something like that. And then now apply to all pages. And so now if I look at my pages now, there it is. There it is, there it is. So suddenly I have this consistent page numbering across all my pages. And of course now if I come in here and say, okay, these two pages here, this page and this page, I wanna control C to copy, control V to get another page number in here. Of course now I have all this page numbering, all my page numbers auto update. So this is how you would set it up when you're building out a template, then you save your template, then when you come in and build out this document, add recipe, you know, four, five, six, seven, however many recipes you're gonna to add to your book, you don't have to worry about the page numbering, it's gonna take care of itself. Now let's go back to this example where you have something created. What if you created something under this old format and I already have a page number in here? So I can look across these different pages and I already have these page numbers. And I had to manually set these up for each page. And of course I had to plan it out ahead of time because if I accidentally delete a page, well then all my page numbers are gonna be thrown off every page number after that is, that is gonna be incorrect. And so now we wanna switch to this dynamic page numbering. Well, because I have a different text element on each page, there's no way for me to select this text element and then apply it across all pages. That's just not gonna work. So if you have documents like this and you wanna update them because you might come in and make changes, additions, subtractions in the future, and you already have a page number built in that was just you know sort of manually set up, then you are gonna have to delete those page numbers. So you have to come in here and you're gonna have to just get rid of those page numbers because you wanna replace that now with this dynamic page numbering. So here I am on page seven. Now if I come under here, now if I add this page number, pull it down here where I want it, and then of course we're gonna to apply to all page numbers or whatever page numbers we want. We can turn ones off if we need to, but then we're gonna apply properties to all page pages. And then if I come in here, six, five, now all those page numbers are automatically gonna update. And of course I can come in here and add a new page. So if I come in here and add a page that's gonna appear right here, it's gonna have the page numbering as well, right? If we copy a page, cause maybe we just wanted to duplicate this page so we could sort of replace the content, there it is, page numbers will update. So they're gonna update automatically, but then on these additional pages in here where I didn't get rid of the old page numbering, you still are gonna to have to take that out. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if you have existing documents that have that manual page numbering built in, there's no way to click on that page numbering and just shift it to dynamic. Now you have to get rid of that page numbering and then come under the text menu, use this page number option here to dynamically add a page number and then you can tell it whatever page you want it to appear on. So if you have 100 pages, you can instantly, boom, instantly have all those pages numbered and when you subtract make changes make formatting changes you can do all of that remember if you do make formatting changes just apply the properties to all pages boom if you ever want to get rid of the pages from all pages boom get rid of it from all pages so very simple very easy to use this auto page numbering feature in canva is going to be super helpful and i hope it saves you a lot of time so thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you're someone who's been waiting for this feature for a while, I know you're probably celebrating, so you can give your best yeehaw or whatever your celebratory phrase is below in the comments. And of course, the best way to stay up to date on Canva updates is by following my email newsletter. So I'll put a subscription link to that in the first pinned comment below. So that's the best way to follow this channel and keep up to date on anything new with Canva. Thanks again so much for watching, and I hope I see you soon.